Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to see how to debug a Java application in an IntelliJ IDE. Okay, so here I already created one project and inside this project, we have created a class debug Java application example. Okay, so now in this class, I have written a logic to reverse a given number. Okay. So here we have one number one two three four and uh, we should get a reverse of this number. Okay, so here we have printed the reverse number and this is a logic to reverse a given number. Okay, now if I run this uh, application, so see here what result we are getting. So here I am getting a reverse number is 14321. Okay, but the reverse of the given number is 4321. Okay, so this is not the correct answer. And if we see uh, this uh, Java class, we don't see any error here. Okay, it means there is something wrong in our logic. Okay, or it is a bug which we have to fix now okay so this time what we can do we can debug the application and then we will get to know that where exactly we are doing the mistake okay so let's understand how we can debug the java application okay so very first what you have to do you have to put some breakpoints okay so if you see here let me remove this breakpoints first okay if you see here okay you can just click and add a breakpoint okay so now here you have added one breakpoint okay now how to start the application in a debug mode you have one option right click and debug this application okay another option is that here only if you are able to see after this run you have one uh, one icon to debug the java application okay so by using these two ways you can start the application in a debug mode okay so right click and debug java application dot main method okay so now your debug will start so let's maximize this screen okay so as soon as the debug start it will first come to your first breakpoint okay so in this main method we have kept one breakpoint at line number three okay so now here if you are able to see here we have the debug and console window okay so in this debugger here you can see your uh, whole stack okay from where this debug is coming currently it is at which line in which method this type of information you can trace from here okay and in this block you will get like the uh, whatever um, you have evaluated okay so currently it's only showing the arguments if you want to add some more variables here and want to check the value then you will get to know okay so we will see how we can do that and here we have some more options okay so see here this is to mute the breakpoint okay this is to terminate the debug or stop the debug this is to resume the program okay so let's understand step by step now we have at line number three okay now we want to go to the next line then how we can go here you have some options okay so see here we have one option step over okay so if you want to go to next line you have to do step over so click on this and you will go to the next line okay now you are at line number five and here the value of reverse is equal to one now again if you want to go to the next line you just do step over okay so now here we are in while loop and currently here you can see what is the value of number okay so see here the value of number is one two three four and here we are checking that is number greater than zero okay so now if you want to evaluate this expression how you can evaluate you just have to select this and right click here you have an option to evaluate the expression so click on this and then click on this evaluate so here you will see the result the given number is greater than zero so result is true 
because our number is 1 2 3 4 which is greater than 0 okay one more way to evaluate the expression is just select this and click on this icon here also you can just do the same thing evaluate the expression and then click on this evaluate okay and if you want to use the keys then you can use the function keys or shortcuts okay now let's go to the next line by doing the step over and here again see here what is here we are uh, calculating the remainder okay now number is 1 2 3 4 mod 10 now let's understand what is the value of this so if we do the evaluate expression and evaluate so here currently we are getting result as a 4 okay now uh, see here in this evaluate expression uh, block you can see that all the values like currently the number is 1 2 3 4 and reverse is 1 okay so now let's do the uh, step over so here we are calculating the reverse so reverse into 10 plus remainder okay so currently the value of reverse is 1 1 into 10 10 plus remainder is 4 so 10 plus 4 14 okay so if uh, you can see here just select and evaluate and check the result so here see result is 14 but we are doing the reverse of the number so instead of 14 we should get result here as a 4 okay so now what is the mistake mistake is that here at line number 5 we have uh, assigned the value to this reverse as a 1 but it should be 0 okay so that 0 into 10 will be 0 plus remainder 4 okay so if you want to see that uh, how we can do you just uh, select this go to evaluate and if you evaluate here the value is 14 but we want 4 so instead of this reverse if you um, write here 0 and evaluate see we are getting 4 okay this means in this reverse if you just uh, check the value of reverse currently it is 1 okay but it should be 0 right so this way you can find out the mistakes what you have done while writing the logic okay so by using this debugging only we can just fix our um, bugs okay so now let's go to the uh, next okay and uh, next by using this uh, step over okay now this loop will execute till the time the number is greater than 0 okay so now our number is 1 2 3 uh, then if we do the step over again it will go inside the loop and loop will execute till your number is uh, greater than 0 okay but now let's suppose you don't want to execute this loop again and again you just want to go to your next breakpoint then how you can do that you just have to uh, put the breakpoint okay and instead of step over what you will be doing uh, this one resume a program okay so now if you click on resume program the your debug directly go to the next line which is line number 11 okay so just resume see here okay so this way you can go to the next breakpoint okay now let's uh, if you want to stop this debug then how you can stop by using this stop debug okay so just now debug is stopped okay so this way you can debug your application now um, let's correct our mistake here let's assign the reverse to zero okay and here i have uh, written one more method to check that the number is prime number or not okay so let's uncomment this okay and put one debug here and here as well okay now let's debug the application one more time so i have started my debug by using this icon okay so now first our debug came here okay now to go to the next we will be using the step over okay 
then again step over and now if you see here the reverse value is now 4 okay that is the correct result okay so now we don't want to uh, debug this while loop again and again so let's go to the next breakpoint so how we can go to next breakpoint by using resume program okay so now here if you see the reverse is 4 3 2 1 here also you can check and here also just you can check okay so now the value of reverse is 4 3 2 1 which is correct okay now let's go to the next line next line here we have called one method check prime number okay and uh, here that method is written okay now if you want to go inside this check prime number method then how you will go you have to use step into okay so just click on this and then your debug will go inside this check prime number method okay so step into so see here now you are in check prime number method okay so here also if you want to go to next line you can just do step uh, over and you will go to the next line okay now let's debug here currently here like we are checking that is the uh, given number is prime number or not okay so now if you see here number we have passed it as a 25 okay so 25 is not a prime number okay so do step over so this loop will execute till the your i value is less than number so number is 25 so it will execute 24 till uh, your number value is 24 sorry the i value reach to the 24 okay so now we don't want to uh, execute this 25 times so let's go to our next debug point how we can go click on resume program okay so now here we got the flag value as a false okay so if uh, if you want to check what is the value of flag just click and uh, go to your evaluate expression and evaluate the value of flag is false okay now let's do the step over and here you can see that your uh, number is not a prime number okay so this way you can just debug your application okay so i hope you understood how to debug the application so that's it for today's video thank you for watching if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel